This is the first video clip in a series funded by the Innovate UK and BBSRC as part of the Limousin Female Fertility and Calf Survival Project. Already established in other agricultural sectors, genomic breeding values, or GEBVs, are now available for all limousin and cattle for a range of carcass traits. These are the first of their kind in the UK beef sector and are the result of a 1.5 million research project between the British Limers and Cattle Society, ABP Food Group and SIUC and the project was funded by Innovate UK and BBSRC. So what are GEBVs? The animal performance is a combination of the genetic merit and the effects of the environment such as season, management regime, health, etc. Just to name a few. Traditional estimated breeding values, or EBVs, uses pedigree information and on-farm performance records to establish how much of the animal's performance is down to the genes it has inherited and how much is down to the environment in which it is reared. The EBV value is the genetic component and indicates the strengths and weaknesses the animal is likely to pass on to the next generation. GEBVs take this a step further by using information from the animal's DNA as well as the usual measures of performance. The DNA is supplied by hair, tissue, blood or semen sample and compared to a DNA key for the entire breed. This key is developed from a core population of limousine animals that have been measured as well as having DNA collected. The key is a library that cross-refers information from the DNA strand with different levels of abattoir performance. The GEBVs are produced by comparing the DNA of the animal with this key and they are calculated from the correspondence of that animal's DNA with those in the library. In the case of the new carcass trait GEBVs, they are all based on visual image analysis or VIA measurements supplied by selected ABP abattoirs as well as DNA from over 2,000 related animals. GEBVs indicate genetic merit for carcass weight, age at slaughter and six new carcass cuts, fillet, strip loin, rump, top side, silver side and knuckle. As data continues to be collected, we are aiming to extend this to the four quarter cuts as well. To quantify the benefits of the carcass trait GEBVs, as part of the project, we looked at the genetic differences between animals and their resulting economic differences. We had a population of progeny from 259 limers and sires, and we found significant differences in their genetic potential. When we added up the additional value for each of the cuts, we found that there was a difference in retail value of between 100 and 150 pounds per carcass between the progeny of the best sires and the poorest. This is money for the taking when all it involves is the selection of the correct sire. Additionally, on a longer term basis, the new breeding values for carcass trades may eventually be linked to a new, more sophisticated VIA payment grid taking into an account the animal's VIA performance. On a wider level, the advantages of GEBVs generally also include the fact that the data comes from independent source. Using the animal's DNA represents a move away from the limitations of on-farm records. On-farm recording remains valuable and important, however, since GEBVs are not effective in isolation. Secondly, the speed is also a benefit of GEBVs. GEBVs can be obtained shortly after a calf is born, thereby enhancing the accuracies of genetic merit predictions much quicker than performance recording alone. They are particularly valuable for traits that can only be measured later in life, like carcass traits. A third benefit is improved accuracy. For many traits that have low heritabilities or are particularly difficult or expensive to measure, GEBVs will offer higher levels of accuracy compared with conventional EBVs. A fourth benefit is the lowering of recording costs. 
Because accuracies are typically enhanced much more quickly than using GBVs than collecting records on farm, there can be less cost involved in getting breeding value estimates to a similar level of accuracy. A fifth and important benefit is that all owners of limers and bred cattle can gain GEBVs. A significant difference between an EBV and a GEBV is that the former relies on the collection of performance records across groups of animals all managed in the same way. To gain the latter, a GEBV, all that is required is the DNA sample and the identity of the animal. It offers commercial producers significant opportunity in assessing current and future sires and replacement heifers. And finally, these GBVs and the data capture system developed around them have paved the way to widen the evaluations for future traits. In April 2016, British Limbers and Cattle Society and SIUC have teamed up together again with funding from Innovate UK and BBSRC to develop GEBVs for female fertility traits and calf survival. These will be available to industry in 2017 and more detail can be found in the video clip titled Improving Fertility and Calf Survival in the UK. Thank you for watching and please get in touch through the Limousin Society office or website if you have any query.